What is up, FA Nation? It's Kevin Tompkins here back with another Target Report bullet points for Week 16. Just concluded with Week 15 Eagles and Seahawks on Monday Night Football. And we are in the fantasy playoffs, semifinals in a lot of leagues. Some leagues might be just starting their playoffs in Week 16. So you know what? For that, we have the most actual information to bring to you to your fantasy football playoffs. If you like what we're doing here at Fantasy Alarm at Target Report bullet points, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here. Without further ado, let's get back into everything here for week 16, the most actionable information to bring to your fantasy football leagues. Of course, Target Report on FantasyAlarm.com drops every Thursday morning slash afternoon, so look for that as well. And now the most actionable information for Week 16. With injuries and quarterback play completely decimating the New England Patriots wide receiver core, one man has stood out in the past two weeks, emerging from the hen house. That's right, Hunter Henry has returned from the abyss where the Patriots pass catcher's fantasy value has resided this season to provide some much-needed fantasy value at a huge position of need. Henry has averaged six targets per game, five receptions, 53 receiving yards, and caught three total touchdowns in the past two weeks. All of that while averaging routes on 76% of Bailey Zappi's dropbacks and producing back-to-back top four fantasy finishes at tight end. In week 16, Henry gets the Denver Broncos, who have given up the second most fantasy points to the tight end position in fantasy football this season. Any fantasy teams that need tight end help should definitely go to the well with Hunter Henry, despite the suspect Patriots team environment. After missing the last six weeks of game action with a knee sprain, Joshua Palmer walked into a completely different Chargers team in Week 15 than the one he left after Week 8. Justin Herbert is out for the season after having surgery on his finger. Easton Stick is now the quarterback for the rest of the season, and Keenan Allen was ruled inactive in Week 15 with a heel injury. After being held without a target and the Chargers down 42-0 at halftime, Palmer's first target was a 79-yard touchdown on their first drive of the third quarter. That one catch accounted for 14.9 fantasy points in PPR, and Palmer would add to the night, finishing with catching all four of his targets for 113 yards and that score. If Allen remains out, Josh Palmer should be able to rack up volume in this Chargers offense. Even if Allen is back, Palmer should remain a worthy flex option, capable of carrying volume and being an every-down option for a Chargers team that has needed weapons in the passing game for weeks. While the stink of the Chargers offensive environment right now is not great, Palmer should be in lineups during the fantasy playoffs as a flex option. With Luke Musgrave more than likely out for the season with a lacerated kidney suffered in the Week 11 game against the Los Angeles Chargers, Tucker Kraft has completely taken over the Packers' starting tight end job. Sure, Kraft stepping up to assume Musgrave's job wasn't met with immediate fanfare, but all Kraft has done in four games is put up top 12 tight end performances in three of his four games. While the target volume hasn't quite been there with just over four targets per game, Kraft has scored in two of those four games. He's benefited from the increased defensive attention given to quarterback Jordan Love and pass catchers like Jaden Reed, Dontavian Wicks, and Romeo Dobbs with Christian Watson out the last two games. Kraft has run 89% of routes per dropback and is on the field almost every single snap for the Packers. It's what you want from a root participation standpoint and loves growing rapport with Kraft is becoming more evident every week. If you're hurting at tight end, enlisting Kraft as your starting tight end in fantasy is a pretty solid bet on a young talent who matches up against Carolina and Minnesota in the final two games of the fantasy football playoffs. 